All right, in this video, we're going to work on copying an angle. So the original angle may be something that you are copying from your book. You may have been told to construct or, or use your protractor to draw an angle that had a certain measure, but you are starting with an original angle and you are going to copy another angle without using your protractor. Copy another angle that is the same, um, the same measure. So we're going to start this with using a straight edge. You can use the, a ruler or the bottom of a protractor. I'm just going to use the bottom of a note card. Any straight edge will do. Draw a line that is going to be the bottom of your new angle. Now, you take your compass and you're going to put the point of your compass on the vertex of the angle that you are copying. Put that down there and you are going to make an arc make an arc that goes through both rays of your original angle. And you're going to take the same setting on your compass, don't change anything, come over to the new segment, put the pointed end of your compass at the end point of that segment, and make the same arc. I want to make a matching arc. Now, we're going to go back to the original angle, and we are going to adjust our compass so that it opens to the same width from where the arc intersected both of those original um, rays. So adjust the compass so that you get that same width on your compass as there is from one side of the arc to the other in the original angle. Take that setting on your compass and come to where you're copying the angle. Where your arc intersected that segment you're going to put the, comp of, or the point of your compass down and you're going to make another arc that intersects the first arc. Take your straight edge again and we're going to connect the end point of that segment through the intersection of where those arcs meet. And there we have a copied angle. It should be the same measure as our original. We can mark this since the original was marked with points A, B, and C. We can mark our copy with points A prime, B prime, and C prime. And again, the prime marks help us to remember this is the copied angle. Without the prime marks, that is the original angle. 